Well, hi there. My name is Taimaro. I recently had the pleasure of reading The Joy Luck Club, written by Amy Tan. The book follows the lives of four ladies and their daughters who are the children of first-generation immigrants from China. Joined together by their roots and experiences, the story tells a tale of motherly love and cultural differences. The book has a cold opening, placing June in her first meeting with the Joy Luck Club, a congregation of four Chinese ladies and their husbands every week to converse and share memories. After her mother's passing, she was called upon to take her mother's place at the table. On page 27 of the novel, June makes mention of how this is difficult for her due to the recent death of her mother. Each lady at the table has endured something traumatic to lead them to where they are today. For example, Anne May Sue suffered a lack of a true mother until much later on, as it states on page 48. Lindo Zhang, as it states on page 51, was forced to marry a man she did not want to due to her cultural heritage. Not only this, but Ying Ying St. Clair had suffered through a separation of her family, as well as an exposure to the unreality of the mythical Moon Lady mentioned throughout her chapter and on page 67. At the end of the novel, June learns of her mother's past children that she was forced to abandon and flies out to China in order to meet them, finally giving closure to her mom's troubles and life accords with page 288. This book explores what it means to be loved and how difficult it can be to maintain a culture when surrounded by another.